Hello everyone. Uh, welcome again to Learning Made Easy with Durak Tutors. And my name is Jato Rahman. I'll be taking you through the use of English and some mostly probable questions in the UTME uh, English questions. Also, Waek Neko and other O-level examinations as well. Most of the lexis and structural aspect of them. We tend to see some of those questions succinctly picked and why the answers are, are answers. So, and uh, once again, I would also want to crave your indulgence for, uh, to listen very carefully as we take through most of these questions and their answers. So, uh, here we go to some of those questions. Though we have questions on the uh, past of speech, which includes nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, uh, among others. Also, we have some questions on the uh, test of oral. And um, most times, too, the register, which is collocations, that is words that are actually uh, going in line with certain fields of study. So we start with more, some of these questions here. If you travel by air, you'll be given an allowance to cover dash. So here we have a luggage, luggage, luggages, a baggage, baggages. And of course, uh, the answer here should be luggage because it's a plural word. So you don't have luggages. To pluralize a luggage, it is still luggage. We have those things like furniture, luggage, baggage, equipment. You don't really have to add S to them to make them plural. They are already plural words. So if you travel by air, you'll be given an allowance to cover luggage. That is option B. The green snake which lives in the green grass is using a perfect dash. So talking about uh, the right choice of words to be used here, Ambush, undercover, camouflage, shelter, subterfuge. So having a green snake under a green grass, then definitely that is a perfect camouflage. So it's taking a camouflage so that actually uh, it will not be very obvious the snake is there. So you choose the word camouflage. Remember this matter is strictly dash. Between you and I, among you and I, among you and me, between you and me, between you and myself, this is question on pronoun, and uh, having to choose uh, between or among. Of course, between is used when you have two people involved, Why among is used when you have more than two. So uh, you are talking about just two people here, so definitely option B and C are out of uh, the correct options there. Then we are having A, D, E. Then we are talking about, should it be a subjective pronoun or an objective pronoun? So since we have between, which is a preposition, when you have a preposition, the next should be an object. So let the matter, let, remember this matter is strictly between you and me. That is option D. So, and for instance, if you really want to have a proof, you can put the two together. That would be, let, it, let the matter be between us. So that is an objective pronoun there. So since you have between, then you should have an object here. Is that taken? Invariably, he ends all his letters dash amicably. You, yours, 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 your own. Uh, the answer should be yours without any apostrophe. This is ungrammatical, so definitely uh, the answer should be either B or D. We have two answers here. So that is, invariably it ends all its letters, yours amicably. You shouldn't have an apostrophe. My father cannot bear the dash of the concussion that emanates from my mother's soup pot. So uh, we're talking about right choice of words, that is, words that actually align with the feed of soup here. So, and uh, looking at all this, they may look synonymous. So we have uh, the sweet, uh, savouring, aroma, smell, scent. Of course, aroma, smell, scents are all having to do with the issue of uh, smells. But we are talking about food here, which is um, 
concussion from the soup, so we have aroma, option C. So that is, my father cannot bear the aroma of the concussion that emanates from my mother's support. Although he is, in all respects, a poor student, he has managed to buy a tape recorder to improve his dash of French. Mastery, mastering, speaking, ideas, thinking. Of course, having to talk about uh, professionalism, that is learning to have an improvement, that is mastery, option A. Although he is in all respects a poor student, he has managed to buy a tape recorder to improve his mastery of French. That is option A. Dash marked an important step in the history of industrial revolution. The invention of the locomotive engine, the discovery of locomotion, the discovery of the engine, inquiry into locomotion, the process of locomotion. So having to mark the important step, so definitely we are talking about invention. So that is an innovation of lo locomotive engine. So option A, the invention of the locomotive engine marked an important step in the history of industrial revolution. In West Africa, the dash of sickle cell is about 25%. Uh, talking about righteous of words here as well, uh, because we have some words, they are often confused words, often misrepresented or misplaced. Incident, incidents, accident, accidents, incense. Of course, we are talking about uh, sickle cell outbreak or the occurrence of it. So that is the incident of sickle cell is about 25%. So you have option A as an answer. So incidence is talking about range, not actually in the occurrence here. So and uh, it is not accident in this context because we are talking about contextual usage of it. So you have incident. David can not, not only become more mature through dash to life outside his home. Posting, exposure, exposition, exposing, positioning. David can not, not only become more mature through exposure, that is getting exposed to life outside his home. So option B, exposure, is the best answer to pick. Then 10. The Nigerian Society of Engineers has set up DASH to study the nation's problem. Also a feed language, yeah? Brain thrust, a tribunal, an inquiry, an inquest, a tax force. Having a society of engineers, so definitely they are setting up a tax force that will study the nation's problem. And it can not be in any of the first uh, four uh, options. So you have a tax force to study the nation's problem. The giant hydroelectric power project, uh, hydroelectric project is among the dash of colonial rule in Southern Africa. Talking about a positive thing being left behind, so we have legacy there. So rather than having to say inheritance, remnants, evidence, or trappings, though they still uh, all talk about um, having to remain something that can serve, uh, uh, serve historical, but Talking about a positive kind of item here, so you have the legacies that, uh, of colonial rule in Southern Africa. The head of state in his New Year's broadcast to the nation emphasized the need for Nigerians to regard Dash as members of the same family. This is pronominal. Uh, we have a reflexive and reciprocal pronouns here. Yeah? So themselves, yourselves, these ones are reflexive, but yourselves, uh, is on grammatical, rather you say themselves. Then talking about uh, reciprocal pronoun, we have one another and each other. Each other is used when you have two, while one another is used when we have more than two. And of course, we are talking about Nigerians here, the Nigerian society. So members, the multiplicity of members here uh, actually shows that we are talking about more than two. So we have one another. That is, they should reg uh, regard one another as members of same family. The neighbor's children always make dash when she's not at home. Noises, plenty of noises, plenty of noise, loss of noises, a lot of noise. Uh, like I did say in one of the questions and talking about uh, the issue of uh, luggage. Noise 
is also a word that you cannot realize. So then definitely you shouldn't have S. So in every case where you have noises, definitely they're out of uh, options. So the neighbor's children always make a lot of noise when she's not at home. So rather than saying noises. The land decree does not concern itself with achieving dash in landed property ownership since those who already own land estates can keep them for good. So what word should be used? Equality, balance, 50-50, sanity, efficiency. So talking about land decree here, that you are talking about uh, balance. That is, it doesn't conserve uh, itself with balance in achieving the landed property there. So that is the choice word for the field language there. You should make and dash to improve the situation. Effect, efficiency, effectiveness, effort, effectualness. We are having to choose the best now that can fill in the gap here. So you should make an effort. So effort, which is option D, to improve the situation rather than saying uh, any of the other options there. Okay, then they kept goal for his club team because there wasn't dash to do it. There wasn't dash to do it. Somebody else, nobody else, any other body, no other body, anybody else. So since you have a negative item here, wasn't. Anytime you see not, this is a contraction of, uh, of was not. So in as much as you are having not here, so the word should go with any. So, okay, the Ingbe kept gold for his club team because there wasn't anybody else to do it. So you couldn't have had any of it, maybe someone or nobody, when or no other, when you are having not here. So if you see not, which is an indication of negative, uh, negativity, then the next choice of word should be any. So, and of course, it cannot be any other body. The best choice is anybody else. Now that I realize the full extent of your dash, I'm afraid it will be impossible for me to ever trust you again. Dubiousness, corruption, deceptiveness, duplicity, inconsistency. Though all still go with uh, the issue of uh, lack of trust. But talking about uh, the choice of word that should be used for somebody who should not be taken for whatever uh, he or she has said, then it should be dubiousness. That is uh, showing some uh, kind of dint of being dubious. So it's not actually uh, ever brought about the issue of trust. So now that I realize the full extent of your dubiousness, I'm afraid it would be impossible for me to ever trust you again. So that is a pure element of distrust. It is very difficult to capture the subtle dash of words when translated from one language to another. So there are going to be some kind of uh, uh, inflections. So when inflections set in, so it will be difficult to capture. That is uh, to dilate some of those sounds that is having to change from one language to the other. There will be uh, inflections in um, stress patterns and the intonations. So we have inflection option D. As it holds true that, unless you train your body, you cannot be an athlete. So also, unless you train your dash, you cannot be a dash. So uh, as it always goes, say, unless you train your body, you cannot be an athlete. And unless you train your mind, you cannot be a scholar. So you have to train your mind before you can be a scholar. So those are best choice of blends in words. Call them uh, word blending. So you have option C. You train your mind to be a scholar. You surely want dash in your tea, don't you? All make, a make, some make, every make, any make. Of course, make uh, is a plural word, uh, most of which cannot be, you cannot uh, have mix. So they are non-count. And uh, having non-count, the best choice of a quantifier here should be some. That is, you surely want some milk in your tea, don't you? Some can both be used for both countable and uncountable than any of other options we have. So, uh, because all other options, all a milk, every milk, any milk, are more of a determined uh, sort of indefinite. But 
when it comes to sum, it is purely indefinite, not determined. So you just have some make. That is, you surely want some make in your tea, don't you? Peter's dash, a code, upsets our plan. Catches, will catch, to catch, to have caught, catching. Peter's catching a code upsets our plan. So option E, catching. Uh, that is uh, not actually in a pure verbal sense, but as a gerund. So his catching of cold actually has upset uh, the plans we have. So rather than having to put a verb there. As such of you that can come are welcome. As each of you, as any, as many, as more, as most. So we are talking about mass count entities here. Mass count people. So you have as many of you that can come are welcome. So uh, whatever the uh, number of people that are involved, so that is what it meant here. Eh? So as many of you that can come. Some people think that dash are potentially a nuisance. Uh, we're talking about pluralization of uh, compound nouns. So we have a compound noun here, and uh, it is um, a hyphenated compound noun, parent-in-law. So, and when it comes to this, if you really want to pluralize them, you pluralize the root word. So it should it be parent, it should it be in, or the laws there. So, but looking at it, the base word, which is the root word here, is parents. So parents should be the one to take S. So, that is, some people think that parents-in-law are potentially a nuisance, rather than saying parent-in-laws. So the parent is the root word, so and should be the one to take the S, not the law. Shakespeare and Dash are generally the victims of circumstances. So we're talking about heroes. So Shakespeare and heroes, option E. Shakespeare and heroes are generally the victim of circumstances. Asmao, did you see the snapshot of Dash? Uh, this is also on pronouns. Yourself, you, yours, yourselves, herself. So Asmao, and uh, you have the determiner here, which is you. So definitely, uh, it has to be with something that goes with you. So herself couldn't have been an option there. So now we are to choose between should it be a reflexive pronoun or a, a sort of a possessive pronoun or a personal pronoun there. But looking at here, it should be that of reflexive. That is showing reflection of, you say, oh, I saw myself in the mirror. So the same thing as, oh, as my, did you see the snapshot of, snapshot of yourself? So it should be reflexive rather than having a possessive pronoun. I can't, I can't mind the light. I don't know dash about electricity. So, and uh, having uh, the issue of uh, negative, like I said then, if you have negative, which is do not, so definitely you should go with any. So you couldn't have gotten no or some. If you have a negative, which is not or n apostrophe t, that is contraction form of do not, so then as much as you have do not here, you couldn't have had something and you couldn't have had nothing. So say, I can't mind it like, I don't know anything about electricity. So when you see a negative item here, you should know that the next afflection there should be that of any, rather than saying no, nor some. That's reached 18.7% of the US population, unemployed, Unemployment, employers, employees, underemployment. And of course, we are talking about the people here, the number of people, not the, uh, not the concept of employment or unemployment. So we are talking about, okay, that, okay, uh, employed, reached, should it be employed, reached 18.7% or unemployment, reached 18.7% or employers or employees. So definitely, are you talking about the number of people or the number of those who have been employed? So that is unemployment here. Unemployment reached 18.7% of the US population or uh, underemployment, which is having to work uh, where it shouldn't, 
or employees or employers. So of the population, of the population, talking about people now, talking about people. So then definitely we are not talking about if B should be an answer, then definitely E as well could have been an answer. So definitely that is why we have the employed. So because we are talking about the population, which are people there. The employed reached 18.7% of the U.S. population. The schoolboy screamed loudly when he saw a snake that looked terrifying. It, who, and he, which. You are talking about a snake here. So you shouldn't have a human uh, kind of attribute here, which is who. And uh, this is not uh, a matter of uh, a coordinating conjunction, which is and. So, and the human attribute as well, which is he. So, say, the schoolboy screamed loudly when he saw a snake, which looked terrifying. And of course, since snake has been mentioned, you couldn't have repeated the word it as well here. So, the schoolboy screamed loudly when he saw a snake, which, which looked terrifying. A co-bridge linking Lagos Island to Surulere as dash. Many traffic, numerous vehicle, uncontrollable traffic, plenty of traffic, a lot of traffic. One traffic cannot be pluralized, so it's one of uh, the plural word like uh, we did say. And they're talking about the quantifier. How do you quantify the uh, number? So you say a lot of traffic. A co-bridge linking Lagos Island to Surulere really has a lot of traffic, rather than saying many traffic, no numerous. No plenty. The passenger waited patiently whilst they transferred his dash from the taxi to the bus. Just like we had explained then that um, the issue of uh, properties could be uh, prioritized. Baggages, it should be baggage. Luggage. The luggage is, is ungrammatical. It's a plural word, so it's uh, one of the singularity tantrums. So luggage still remain luggage, rather than say luggages. So it said the passenger waited patiently while with the transfer is luggage from the taxi to the bus. Like I said, it, is, it should still remain luggage. So the plural form is still luggage, it's a plural word. So you don't put S, source of baggage. Okay, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, also you hit the notification bell as uh, you steer yourself up with most of these kind of questions that will surely help you in your forthcoming exams. Will you know if that dog is Dash? He has lost uh, a black one. He has lost a black one. Will you know if that dog is Dash? That is the ownership here. Adebo Alice with apostrophe S. Adebo Alice. Adebo Alice own. The Adebo Alice. The Adebo Alice with apostrophe. So we you know we are talking about just a single Adebo Ale. So the name of the person is Adebo Ale. So definitely, and you are talking about possessive noun here. So will you know if that dog is Adebo Alice? That is option A. So and you should have an apostrophe. So if not, this one is just plural Adebo Alice. And uh, you shouldn't use own in this concept. You can only use own when it comes to divisional aspect whereby maybe two people talking so oh my mother is a seamstress or say oh my own mother is a teacher so in that case you can use own but in this concept we are talking about possessive nouns so that is will you know if that dog is adebo alice option a he has lost a black one jane and jarawa love dash very much themselves each other one another their selves each other's. Like I said, uh, we have reflection, reflexive pronoun, and uh, reciprocal pronouns. Yeah? We are talking about two people here. And if we don't forget, each other is used for two, while one another is used for more than two. So we're having two people involved here. So it should be each other. And each other does not go with S. So Jane and Jarawa love each other very much. It can never, if, if you choose themselves, then it means they are not reciprocating the action. So each of them would have loved him or herself. So if you say, oh, Jane and Jarawa love themselves very much, it means 
Jane loves herself. Jarawa loves himself. There is no share of such love. So having to reciprocate, then definitely you say Jane and Jarawa love each other very much. She got into trouble because she refused to listen to the dash given by her friends and relatives. Uh, talking about advice here. So advice should not go with S. So it's an uncountable now. So where you have a series of advices, pieces of advices, or lots of advices will be out of point. So and you are talking about several advice she has uh, gotten and refused. So you say she got into trouble because she refused to listen to the many of the advice given by her friends and relatives. Uh, mind you, it is still pronounced advice, not advice. It has the same uh, stress pattern with the one with S-E, uh, which is um, also American uh, form of uh, the nominal part. But for British form, this is a noun. Then the one with S-E is mostly a verb. When we were coming back from the picnic last Friday, the dash on the Bridge were many traffics, was much traffic, were plenty traffic, uh, were lots of traffic, was a very few traffic. Like I said, we cannot get them pluralized, so the one with S is out of point. So when we were coming back from the picnic last Friday, there was much traffic because we use much for uh, when we have uncountable. Meanwhile, many is used for countable, much is used for uncountable. They both mean very large number. But uh, then when you, where it should be lot, it should have been maybe a lot of traffic, not lots of traffic. So that is what uh, actually made option D incorrect. So when we were coming back from the picnic last Friday, there was much traffic on the coverage. I'm sorry I can't go to the theater with you as I have dash to do. So, uh, this is still talking about plural word. When work, having to talk about shows that you do or something that you must undergo, you don't get them pluralized. So, the plural form of work is still work. So, you don't add S. So, and uh, like I said then, if you have plural words that are actually uncountable, then you use more of much than any of other quantifiers. So that is, I'm sorry I can't go to the theater with you as I have much work to do. So that is option D. When the policemen are received dash about the hideout of the armed robbers, they were in full force to arrest them. Information as well is also a plural word. So the ones we call singular tantrums. So it doesn't take S. So wherever you see it with S, then definitely they are not answers, which disqualifies option A, B, and C. So information still remains information. So, but uh, you are talking about different forms now. That is, uh, when the policemen received dash uh, about the hideout of the armed robbers, they were there in full force to arrest them. So you are not talking about a particular item. So it means when they received full information, full information, and it should be without S because it's a plural word. So when they received the full information about the hideout of the armed robbers, they were there in full force to arrest them. That is option E. The violent storm that occurred on Easter Monday destroyed many houses and caused that in Lagos generally. Uh, we're talking about damage and uh, damages. Damages uh, is a type of uh, money you pay when you cause a damage. So, and uh, definitely that uh, will make where damages are not possibly be an answer. Because you make payment, the type of payments you make after you cause a damage is known as damages. So, that is the violent storm that occurred on Easter Monday destroyed many houses and caused, then we should go with, should it be uh, much damage or plenty damage? And like I said, Preferably, you use much when you are talking about uncountable nouns because however the number of damage you cause, it is still called damage. That is, oh, he has caused a lot of damage. So not he has caused a lot of damages. So, and uh, here, much is preferably used 
to actually uh, quantify any uncountable rather than many. So uh, the violent storm that occurred on Easter Monday destroyed many houses and caused much damage in Lagos generally. The farmer has brought the insecticide because it was bent on dash the insects on his farm. That is having to get rid of them that is exterminating exterminating that is he get them exterminated that is to kill the insect on his farm so that is option a yes the school board has placed an order for dash all the furniture and equipments all the furniture and equipment all of the furniture and equipments many of the furnitures and equipment and of course i discussed the issue of um, uh, singular tantrums plural tantrums Singular tantrums that are plural words. These are plural words, but they do not take S. Uh, like uh, information, like the damage we have talked about, like work. So also furniture. Furniture does not take S. Equipment as well does not take S. So where you see uh, any of it, either of it taking S is actually out of answers. So definitely we have option B, all the furniture and equipment required in the new schools. So that is, furniture will be without S. You can only uh, get them itemized, like, oh, items of furniture, uh, items of equipment, but you don't put equipment with S. So that is what makes option B an answer. So you can only get them quantified, but you don't realize them. So they shouldn't take S. The candidate made dash at the village square a day before the elections. So what could he have made? Uh, we are talking about righteous of words in fields, sermon, address, eulogy, lecture, speech. So for a candidate to have come out to speak with the people or talk to the people, that is giving an address. So that is, the candidate made an address at the village square a day before the election.